Hello, Peninsula Delaware Annual Conference. This is Rob Townsend, your Director of Connectional Ministries. And today's update is all about voting. We as a culture have lots of different opinions and we love to vote. We love to argue. There's lots of things that we ask even our students to write an essay on, like is a hot dog a sandwich? Uh, is pretzel salad a side item or is it dessert? What's better, Coke or Pepsi? Who's the greatest NBA player of all time, LeBron James or Michael Jordan? Or depending on your era that you watched it, maybe it's Bill Russell or Will Chamberlain. Either way, you have an opinion and you like to get into arguments and you vote with that opinion. So in order for your vote to count at annual conference this year, since we're doing things differently as a virtual annual conference in November, we want to give you an opportunity to figure out those votes. In other words, we want to give you an opportunity to practice voting. So in order to do that, we have a practice session this Thursday night at 6.30. A practice session, nothing counts in terms of voting on anything for annual conference. We're just practicing how to vote. If you're unfamiliar with the Zoom format or you're unfamiliar with this virtual responsibility that we have, we're going to be sending you a link. All voting members to annual conference, both, both clergy and lay, will receive have received a link that was emailed out today, Tuesday, October 13th. If you didn't get that link, check your spam folder. It's probably in there, particularly if you have email from Comcast. Check that link, make sure that you can get on that particular Zoom meeting. If you're not a voting member of Annual Conference or you didn't register for Annual Conference, you will not get that link. But we're just gonna practice the voting so that people will feel comfortable with the format when we get to the actual voting later this month and then into November. Next month, we as a community of faith get to go to the polls to elect our representatives in Dover, in Annapolis as well as Washington. And our appointed cabinet has some words about those important decisions in voting. Let's hear from them now. I'm here to encourage you to get out and vote. Voting is important because voting helps us to have a healthy and well-functioning democracy. A well-functioning democracy has the capacity to attend to all of the issues that our faith calls us to address. Poverty, health care, gun violence, and more. All these are issues that are addressed at the voting box. While declaring our ultimate allegiance to God, Scripture recognizes that faithfulness to God requires political engagement by the people of God. Our United Methodist Social Principles 164B paragraph says the strength of a political system depends upon the full and willing participation of its citizens. And so voting can be an act of faith, voting for policies and individuals that uphold and share our values of justice and peace is one of the ways that Christians can work for a world that more closely resembles what Jesus called the kingdom of God. And so I implore you to go out, not only to vote, but to see what, these, uh, what the politicians are promoting. Do your research so that you can make an informed vote. Thank you, and God bless you. When South Korea was under the oppression of dictatorship, we suffered a lot and longed for democracy. We learned the hard way to achieve democracy for the country. Many of us, as demonstrators or sit-in protesters, suffered from the clubbing of the police and the tear gas bombs used by the police when we went out to the streets and even on college campuses. I believe in democracy. As a Methodist, I believe that voting is an act of faith and a practice of social holiness. By voting, let us take a responsibility of personal and social righteousness that God desires for us for such a time like this.
Hi, I'm Reverend Davis, the Eastern District Superintendent of the United Methodist Church. We're asking during this election season, if in fact you have a van or any transportation to take individuals to the polls, it is important that we vote because your vote counts. Hi, I'm Reverend Christina Blake, the District Superintendent for the Salisbury District. And one thing you can do is you can pack care bags for your members to take with them when they go to vote. You can put all kinds of things in these care bags. It might be cold, so you can put hand warmers in. Or it might be rainy, so you can put a rain poncho in. Always going to need snacks. Healthy ones, too. And your members might have children, so remember to pack something for your kids, like a coloring book and crayons, a New Testament, or a puzzle book, because the, longs, the lines might be long, and you might have a, a lot of waiting. Always you can put in an extra bottle of hand sanitizer and an extra mask, because your members might want to swap out their masks after they come out of voting. That's one thing that you can do, a simple thing. Dollar Store has all of these items. So do something for each one of your members. Take care of them, encourage them to vote, and send them with a care package. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for our country. We thank you for the opportunity we have to elect officers and officials and presidents and senators. Oh God, we are a blessed people. We are blessed to be a blessing. So Lord, as we enter into this election season, May hearts be calm. May spirits be strong. May we love one another. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.